Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to build a custom built spa. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so building a custom built spa firstly is not as difficult as you may think. And in this video, I'm gonna to try to summarize and keep it as short as possible, all of the different steps. Now, what I will say is please subscribe to the channel Give me a like, a thumbs up, drop me a message if you've got any questions at all. And underneath this video, I'll put a whole bunch of helpful links as well. And to some of my other videos that really dive into the, the deep depths of how to build your own custom built spa. So the first thing that you're going to need to decide on is a design and a layout. Now, if you need help with this on my website, buildahottub.com, you can find lots of information, lots of designs that will help you with your layout. So deciding how high seats are, for example, how deep the water should be, how, how big your actual tub is going to be. I've got lots of different designs that can certainly help you out on that. So it's well worth checking out. That's buildahottub.com. Okay, so the actual build process, the first thing that you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to lay a concrete pad. Now this concrete pad will have some rebar inside, it will be between four and six inches in thickness, and this is really gonna be the start of your hot tub, so you've gotta get the concrete pad right. I have a video, there'll be a link below for all of the detailed steps of actually how to build a perfect concrete pad for your custom built spas. Once you've got that pad, the next thing you're gonna to need to do if you haven't already is decide the materials that you're gonna use. How are you gonna build the structure? Are you gonna build it out of CMU blocks, for example? So these are concrete blocks, they're hollow, you drop in some rebar, number three rebar is perfect for this. You fill it full of concrete and you've got a really strong structure to hold and maintain the, the water inside of your custom built spa. Or are you going to form, are you gonna create a wooden mold that you can then fill with concrete to, to form your, your shape of your hot tub? Or are you gonna use the, the modern method of ICF blocks? So this is insulated concrete forms really like putting lego together i love this stuff I've, I've done a video on it i've put in the link underneath here about the icfs themselves i think they're a great way to do it they're not the cheapest but they are a really good way of having an, an insulated actual structure as well so once you've decided on how you're going to actually create your hot tub walls you're going to need to build them so once you've got your hot tub walls in place the next thing that you need to look at is the plumbing and you'll have probably decided in advance how many jets you're going to have the position of your jets all of this kind of thing can be done in the planning stage and the planning is really really important and as i said if you need some help with the planning with the designs i've got off the shelf designs available in my store and i can also help you with custom designs as well so just hit me up in the comments get in touch via the website and i can definitely help you with the layout itself now, I have a real deep dive into the plumbing on my YouTube channel, and I'll drop a link to that underneath the video. It will explain exactly how to size up the pumps, the right amount of jets, etc., etc. All of this is contained in a much, much longer video than this one is designed to be. I wanted to give you a very quick overview in less than 10 minutes of each of the stages. So we've built a base. We have created the structure either out of blocks ICF or we formed it. Now we've looked at the plumbing. So we're going to add those jets. We're going to use some gunite bodies that are going to go through the walls and that will take the water in. Again, it's a bit of a reoccurring on this particular video. I've got a deep dive on gunites as well on the channel and I'll put that in the links as you probably guessed underneath the video as well. So check them out there down there. Perfect. Okay, so after plumbing, what have we got to do? Well, when we've put in the plumbing, we've got to make sure we actually seal around all of those gunites, making sure that we've got an, an actual watertight structure. The watertight structure, we will need to seal if we're doing concrete blocks. If we poured the concrete, it's also a good idea to use a, a concrete sealant. And for this, it just puts a coating on the surface. And it's, again, it's just gonna to add to that waterproofing. So again, it's a, an important step. You've got to waterproof your concrete structure. 
Once we have a waterproof concrete structure, the next thing we need to look at is how we're gonna finish the hot tub. Now, I really recommend tiles. Obviously tiles are more expensive than a painted finish, for example, but if you're gonna spend the time and the effort to actually build your own custom built spa, then definitely look at the tiles that you can get. As long as those tiles are designed for a wet room application, they are suitable to be used on your hot tub. You don't necessarily need swimming pool tiles. Anything with swimming pool in the title is automatically around 30% more expensive. So just check out your tiles. If they're for wet room uh, applications, then you're totally fine to use them on your build and it will save you some money as well. Now, when you are gonna attach those tiles to those walls of your custom built spa, you're gonna need to use waterproof grout and it has to be swimming pool grade. And the reason for this is you don't want those tiles peeling off your custom built spa when it's actually been filled with water. So that's the last thing that we want on our custom built spas is the tiles to peel off. So you do need to use swimming pool adhesive, swimming pool grade grout, uh, you can also go for an epoxy grout as well, which is uh, it, it really, really waterproof, really, really good at actually binding those tiles to the surface of your custom built spa. It's not the cheapest, but it's uh, a really good alternative if you're concerned about the, the waterproofing that you've already done. So we've got our base, we've got our structure, we've got some plumbing in there. We've now got some tiles on the walls. So what else do we need to do? Well, we, we do need to do some insulation and the insulation, I always recommend that you can fit it on the outside of your tub, either whether it's formed or block, you can put that insulation on the outside. You can then cover up that insulation with either a second skin of brick, so you're creating a cavity. Now that cavity, it could be as simple as a four inch block, an eight inch cavity, and then a second four inch block. You can then either fill that full of concrete or you can fill it full of stone, uh, totally up to you, and that gives you a good size. Kind of like the picture at the front of this video, it was a, a, a coping stone on top. That's around about a 20 inch coping stone, I think. And, and that just covers up your plumbing, it covers up your cavity, and it looks super, super nice. Now that exterior wall, of your custom built spa can obviously be made of different material. It doesn't need to be those uh, same that you've used, whether it's a form or whether it's a, a block itself. You can use something that's much more decorative. Again, kind of like the, uh, the, the thumbnail on this video, it's got a beautiful stone finish. Uh, obviously that's not there for structure, it's there for its looks. Now the control room. I speak a lot on this channel about the control room. Again, there's a link to the video underneath this one and I deep dive into the control room, the positions of it, all of the material that you need. So, can I help you with your build? Hopefully I've given you a very, very quick overview in less than 10 minutes of how to build a custom built spa. The process is pretty simple. I've got loads of information on this channel, loads of information on my website, and if I can help you in any way, please do get in touch. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.